Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Manage Document Workflows Faster in Smartsheet presentation. I need to say a few things that our legal team makes me say before we begin. The first is there may be forward-looking information in this presentation, and if you see any trademarks or logos in this presentation, they do not necessarily constitute endorsement. So with that said, my name is Chris Matthews. I'm a senior product manager here at Smartsheet, and I spend every day thinking about how I can help you make your document workflows faster and easier and more efficient in Smartsheet. Today, I also have with me Rob Waite from American Roofing and Metal, who's going to talk a bit about how his team was able to achieve success by pulling their document management workflows into Smartsheet in as little as one day. We also have the Smartsheet team standing by to answer any questions that you may have. So first, I'd like to talk a bit about documents. So documents may mean many things to your organization. It can be a purchase order for work yet to be completed. It can be an invoice representing work done and payment yet to be received. It can be a job offer, a weekly status report. It can be an agreement between two companies or two different parties. But for different people, it can mean different things. So if you are the process owner, a person managing this document workflow, it's often a very difficult exercise to get everyone aligned on how that document needs to be filled out and also how, how to actually get the data in there. And if you're the person filling out those documents day to day, it ends up being another bureaucratic exercise and feels like another way that you just mess up in front of management. And it takes you days, sometimes uh, you know, hours or days to, to parse through all the data you need to do to get into that document. So our document management processes are becoming unmanageable as we scale. And the impact is very real. A misplaced checkbox or an errant copy and paste uh, or a brittle solution ends up kicking off new work that didn't need to happen. We're spinning up new processes that just waste time and resources or make your customers upset. So today I'd like to talk to you more about how to scale those processes within Smartsheet. And I'd like to introduce to you Document Builder. Now Document Builder enables you to rapidly generate custom versions of your documents at scale using the data already in your sheet. You're already tracking these workflows where you want to in Smartsheet. Now you can use it to build those documents on the fly. So after you set it up once, you can use this on demand. It reduces uh, or eliminates the need to copy paste data into documents or from documents into your sheet. And it eliminates the need for costly third-party integrations. So today what we're gonna talk about is first, how you can use Document Builder to accelerate your workflows. We're gonna start by showing you how to map your sheet's data to a document, and then how to use that mapping to generate those documents on the fly. Then we're gonna help you brainstorm ways that you can identify opportunities to use Document Builder to enhance your document workflows. <clears throat> and as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna have a success story from Rob Waite at American Roofing and Metal, who's gonna talk about how they did this in as little as one day. So let's go ahead and jump right into the demo. <clears throat> So what you can see here is a patient test requisition form from a telemedicine provider uh, who's a customer of ours. Now, they had a very manual and error-prone document process where they would collect patient data using this form and then transcribe that into Smartsheet. And they take that requisition uh, form and send it back to a physician who's going to be performing the test that the patient needs. Now, this test could be a cancer test. It could be uh, a heart disease test or a COVID test. And as you can imagine, this manual process became very difficult once COVID hit and they realized that their process wasn't scaling. So we have this sheet here that represents a bit about how they tracked these requisitions when they came in. And it contains both the patient details, the test details and the physician details. And we said, well, hey, why don't you optimize this a bit? You don't need to use a document to collect this data. You can use something as simple as a smart sheet form. So we recommend that they build a form similar to this. And if you're unfamiliar with Smartsheet forms, uh, they are a quick way for you to collect data at scale. And so I have Kelly and, and she's going to submit her details here. Uh, and that in real time, it's going to update into our Smartsheet sheet. And now that new uh, requisition is, is a new row here on the sheet. And at this point, uh, this customer needs to connect them to the physician to perform the test that they need. And so we're gonna assign a manager internally, in this case me, uh, to send out uh, more details for the physician. So when I click on this checkbox, 
what this is going to do is kick off some Smartsheet automation that requests that I connect our patient to the physician. And now in Notification Center, I'll have an update request that comes in and it shows me all of the details about this requisition. And I, now I simply need to add details about the physician. So I'll just uh, put some fake data in here. So the doctor and we'll add a fake phone number in here as well. And we'll submit this. And this is gonna update my sheet in real time. And you'll see this come in, hide in blue, this data is now in the sheet. And I've got a flag that gets flipped that checks to see if all of the data that I need for to fill out this form has been collected. And this is where Document Builder comes in. So by clicking on the row menu on this row, I now have a new option called Generate Documents. And when I click on this, it's gonna put me into Document Builder and it's gonna start me with a blank canvas. Now, when I click on this uh, option here, I can upload my PDF into Document Builder and Smartsheet is gonna understand where there are fillable fields in my document uh, that I can take uh, columns in Smartsheet and map it to the fields in the PDF. There we go. So now Smartsheet has pulled in this PDF and identified fields that I can fill out and shown me all of the columns in Smartsheet uh, that I can use to fill them out. And this is where Document Builder uh, has a little bit of magic here because we made this easily accessible by anyone. You don't need IT or anyone in your back office staff to build this for you. You can do it yourself. So it's as simple as drag and drop. By dragging and dropping first name into the first name field, last name into my last name field, you get the idea. It's that easy to set up a mapping uh, between Smartsheet and your PDF. So I'm just gonna do a few more things here. We'll drag the physician name in here. We'll drag the physician phone number in here. And at this point, I'm ready to generate my document. And so by clicking on this generate button, I'm presented with two options. One, I can download my document directly to my device. Or two, I can attach it to the row. Now attaching it to the row gives me an option to uh, keep that document as a record on that, uh, on that requisition. So I'm gonna do that now because I want this to be auditable later on down the line. And as you can see, in just a couple of seconds, this has generated the document. And when I return to the sheet, you, you notice that it asks me to save my changes before leaving. Uh, so we can actually save this mapping. We'll get back to that later. Uh, but when I go back into Smartsheet, we're gonna find that document has now attached to that row on the sheet. And when I open it up, we'll find that all of Kelly's details have been added into this form. So that's how you set up a mapping. But as you can see, I have several other documents that need to be generated. Now I've created a Smartsheet filter that shows me only those rows that need documents to be generated. And by clicking on all four rows and jumping back into Document Builder, I'm able to reuse that mapping that I created earlier. And with just a couple of clicks, I can now generate four new documents that get attached to each of those rows using the unique data in that row in just a few seconds. So as you can see, it's a pretty powerful capability that can help accelerate your workflows. Now, when can I use these workflows? Well, you can use it if your document-based process is intermittent and large scale, like an annual review process or a quarterly report, or you can do ongoing and time-sensitive workflows, such as that uh, test requisition form that I mentioned earlier or a purchase order process. Now, an opportunity to use Document Builder would be if a document is an input or an output to your process, and you know, documents that work really well with Document Builder include ones that have standardized content where the data inside changes uh, based on the row that you're using. So we've heard lots from our customers about the different use cases they have for Document Builder. That includes purchase orders, invoices, contracts, lease agreements. There's more on this slide and much more that we've heard uh, over our time speaking with them. Uh, and with that, I'd like to kick it over to Rob Waite. Uh, from American Roofing and Metal, who's going to tell us a bit about how they were able to achieve success with Document Builder. Thanks, Chris. Uh, as you have demonstrated, Document Builder is very easy to implement. Very importantly, strategically, Document Builder is far more powerful than just another way to put data into a PDF. So based on this, when we were invited to participate in the Document Builder beta test, we had the confidence to go beyond just dipping our toes into the document builder pond. And instead, we decided to take a big old cannonball plunge right into the deep end. And within one day, we were able to reconfigure our most complex and consequential process in our business, which is our purchasing process, uh, into a wholly integrated uh, process for our company. Now, let me give you a little more context on that. 
Um, we like to refer to in our industry uh, purchasing as a high velocity process. And the reason we do is uh, just looking back at the last 90 days, we had 41 foremen who requested over 1,200 purchase orders that have been issued to 272 different suppliers with a total dollar value in excess of $5 million. Now, prior to Document Builder, our purchasing cycle time averaged five days, with one and a half days being consumed from the time the foreman requested a PO to when that PO was actually issued to the supplier, which was way too long. Additionally, other issues that we had been struggling with included an unacceptably high error rate due to poor communication caused by our prior non-integrated document management, as well as not having time to properly reconcile 100% of our purchase orders. So as we examine this process more deeply, we could see that the missing link was really an automated document management tool that could enable us to eliminate the complexities of having to use multiple non-integrated systems. So Document Builder then became a linchpin that we had needed to create a much more efficient and effective purchasing process. Now for me, the telltale sign we'd achieved significant improvement was that our people began to talk about supplier response times in hours and minutes instead of days. Just as importantly, they were no longer talking about dealing with inaccuracies and errors. So let's take a look at what the complete solution had provided for us. Document Builder as a linchpin capability to a wholly integrated transparent purchasing process led to an immediate reduction in our purchasing cycle time of 20%. Now that full day reduction in cycle time was redeployed to now being able to reconcile 100% of our purchase orders, which has eliminated any supplier over payments. payments. Additionally, with a fully transparent process, our supplier's attention to detail and understanding of needs has greatly improved. And all of this was really made possible by a simple tool called Document Builder that enabled us to create a fully integrated and transparent purchasing process. That's one of my favorite stories, Rob, because you're able to achieve success so quickly using Document yeah. Builder and Smartsheet. Thank you. Thank you. So just to wrap things up here, I wanna talk a bit about what we just discussed. So we identified how you can create documents faster and focus more on your business workflows instead of around the document workflow, uh, which is what we're sort of doing now. We are helping you scale your system using Document Builder. And we showed you how to use Document Builder in two steps. First, to create the mapping, and second, to use that mapping on the fly to generate those documents. We also identified in the demo some other capabilities and features such as forms, alerts, approvals, and update requests uh, that allow you to uh, accelerate more around your document workflow outside of the document itself. And just to kind of wrap up here, I wanna give you a few resources uh, for you to get a bit more uh, detailed and in-depth on Document Builder. So to start, you can check out our Learning Center to learn more about the basics of Document Builder. Uh, we also have a webinar. If you go to smartsheet.com slash webinars, you can learn more there. Uh, we also have more about Rob's success story on our customers page. And finally, you can get hands-on in the Engage Brain Boost. So with that, thank you very much for attending. I hope you found this session valuable, and we're really excited to learn more about how you're going to use Document Builder to accelerate your document processes. Thank you very much.